Right, hello and welcome back to part two of uh, look, our look at linear equations. So uh, this is where I left you and we left uh, this here with a, in, in, in the cell like that. But what we have found um, subsequently is that if we put some um, interesting sort of values in here um, that uh, when we get large uh, numbers like that, it's unable to deal with this. And in some cases, uh, if we get a, a zero value, um, so for instance, if we put that as zero and that as zero, uh, we get no solution. Uh, we have a bit of difficulty dealing with it. So what we've... Uh, what I've come up with or what we looked at um, actually in class when we, we tried this, use this video in class, is to actually delete that from there. And what we'll put in here is a, we'll put it in a cell, which will give us a lot more functionality. So we're going to put in here just x space equals, put that in that cell there. And then I'm just going to locate it just so it's over at the side there, x equals, and then we'll we'll put the answer in here. And also, uh, subsequent to this, I had a bit of a, a look up on uh, Uncle Google and why you cannot use the name C in Excel. And you'll see here that the uppercase and lowercase letters R and C are not available as cell names because they represent column and row, which I sort of suspected because when I did use C, it highlighted the column. Furthermore, aside from letters, the first character of a cell name can also be a backslash or underscore. Furthermore, I'm not sure. Um, oh, right. So it can be those. But anyway, we'll we'll see how that um, see how that pans out as we move along. So back to the Excel here. So what we can put in here is our uh, formula, which was uh, equals and bracket d minus b bracket divided by bracket A minus C bracket. Oh, it doesn't like that. Oh, I've just, because of my, so it's got a weak, I called it CC. So there we go. And um, in this case here, we can see we've got 2 equals 6, which is not true. And we've got something like that coming up. In the case where we've got a good solution, oh, D is not going to give us a solution, a number, let's say we put 5 in there, we've now got X equals 0 0.8, which is good. But if we get this uh, solution here, where if we put a 0 in there, we've got it, we want to put something in there, and, and effectively that's an error saying 2 equals 6. We know 2 doesn't equal 6. So we need to come up with that. So what we can do here is we can use the a logical uh, type formula, and it's one there that we can use, which is if error, and put that in there. Now, if we go and push the function key here, Oops. All right, so we're going to put a function in there. We'll put this one in here, and I've, you can see it's if error there. Um, I've used it uh, previously, but you can search through, but this one here is if error. Uh, so we just push that little there, and then went OK, and then it comes up with the function wizard, and that function, the if error is the value. Right. 
So the value we want to investigate is bracket D minus B slash um, or divide uh, bracket A minus C bracket. Enter. Okay. Oops, what's happened there? Uh, if error, uh, right, and we'll push there, and it's um, there. Now, if that's, um, oh, and that should be CC, not, uh, right. Okay, and then if the value, if there is an error, is we want to show no, no solution. Okay, like so, no solution, and push. Okay, is that going to work? No, I've got a problem there. Oh, okay. Uh, um, oh, I see. For some reason, I've got that as a, just as text. So we'll go back to the wizard. And I don't know why I'm putting that in quote marks there, whether that was me or not. But anyway, that's the problem. Okay. And uh, you see there we've got no solution, but we it's in the middle, so we'll just put it over to one side. No solution. So now, uh, if just let's just check what happens here. Make sure it's working there. X equals four, and I've shown uh, x to three decimal places, so that's a pretty good. Um, just another, if we put a large number in there. Oh, this looks good. Um, minus twenty-three. Uh, there we've got something. There's a bit of a problem there. Uh, I don't think we've got enough space in the cell. So what we could do is possibly just merge those two cells, I think might be a better, a good solution as it keeps it nice and even up here. So let's go to home and merge, merge, just merge the cells. And there we go. That allows us to put a, a larger number in there without changing the cell size. So um, I'm pretty happy with that, uh, just uh, as it is there. Oh, I was going to change the name of this here, um, just the rename. I'm going to change it to AX plus B equals um, CX plus D. AX plus B equals CX plus D. So just put that in there. I think that's more informative. And yeah, oh, oh this, I'm going to change the view a bit of it so that it's, um, <coughs> there. So the view, I'm going to take out the guidelines, the formula bar, take out the headings. And you can see there we've got that little shadowy box around there. Um, I don't want that. So uh, I'm going to just up here shape format and just uh, shape outline. I don't want an outline. No outline. Okay, so that puts all that in there. That's all good. Um, everything's uh, pretty reasonable in there. I think, and there was something I was just uh, thinking of there. Oh, these input boxes. I like to have the input boxes as um, a, a sort of just to show that that's where the input goes. Uh, there like that. And yeah, just put them all maybe that same color. And oh, that painter. Double click it. Yep, double click it. It keeps it going. Escape and 
possibly um, I would put a a box around them as well. So just go to uh, home key. And I, don't, I don't know why that keep. I don't want that. Uh, home key, format, format cells, and I just put a border. Um, there are other ways of doing this, of course. But yep, there we go. Oh, what happened? No, I put it over there. Um, clear all. Okay. Uh, format. Format cells. Okay. Alrighty. So there we go. Um, like that. Uh, these may not be large enough for some of the values. So I might just uh, format column width. Maybe make them a cancel. I'll just uh, just have a look and see what the column width is there. Just to make sure. Uh, format column width. Uh, eight. Let me make them fifteen, maybe. Oh. Format column width fifteen. Okay, yeah. So that might be a little bit better there, <clears throat> like so. And uh, this here. Um, we could maybe put that in the middle, so yeah, quite cool. And uh, the output, uh, maybe yeah, I could maybe centralize that as well. Uh, yeah. Oh no, <laughs> and we don't want to control Z. Hmm. Um. Uh, we'll leave that uh, just as it is, the output there, yeah, I think. Yeah. I think that'll be fine. Or perhaps maybe... Oh, that's, oh, I've got that as two cells there. That is one. Hmm. Oh, I think that'll be fine. Be fine like that. All right. Yes, I'm reasonably happy with that. So I'm going to leave it at that. And <clears throat> yeah, tidy that up. So the next uh, the next step is we're going to be looking at uh, graphing linear equations in the next, uh, the next part or the next uh, episode. So yeah, I think that's pretty much tidied that up. Just uh, one final check. So if we have... Zero there and zero there. No solution. Okay. Um, don't know whether I can. Yeah, maybe could make it so that it shows up red or something for no solution, but that's fine. I'm happy with that. So let's uh, put in here four, uh, four, three, two, and one. And uh, in that case, x equals negative 1. All good. Bloody marvellous.